Well, I'm Bill Ward, and uh, you may not know much about my background, but I'm, uh, I'm a lawyer by education, but I spent my entire career in the trucking industry. I owned and operated a trucking company for some uh, 20 years, and that was a good background and experience for me. I also had background and experience in the educational institution. I served on the board at Colorado College for over a decade. I'm a trustee of a major private foundation here in Colorado and I serve on the board of a company in Kansas, a farm operation in Kansas. Also served on the boards of uh, industry uh, representatives, American Trucking Associations in Washington, D.C. And so I, I've had quite a bit of experience there, but I've also had a long history with Denver Seminary. Forty years ago, a professor at Denver Seminary baptized me. He was the interim uh, preacher at our church at the time. Life-changing experience for me. And he and his wife became lifelong friends. They introduced us to Denver Seminary, and Denver Seminary has become a lifelong friend. And so that's my background in history. People sometimes ask, well, how do you evaluate Denver Seminary? Uh, what do you think of it? People want to say sometimes in the educational community that education is not a business and would like to imply that it can't be evaluated in the same way. I understand that argument, and there's a, there are merit to parts of that. But an educational institution is a business. In a business, you need to have a focus. You need to understand what it is you're trying to do every morning. So does a seminary. In a business, you need great leadership. So does a seminary. In a business, you, you need a team of people who are talented, hardworking, dedicated. You need that in a seminary as well. In a business, you need customers. A seminary needs customers. Customers who trust you, who like your product, they like your service, and they come back. A seminary needs customers. We call them students, but they're customers. A seminary needs financial stability, just as a business needs financial stability over time. You can't go broke. Denver Seminary, over 40 years that I've observed them, passes all of those tests, in my mind. And they pass one other very important test. Every business needs investors, people that trust you, people who have confidence in you, and who will invest their money. A seminary needs investors. Sharon and I have been investors for 40 years. At Denver Seminary, we prepare men and women to engage the needs of the world, to present the redemptive power of the gospel and the life-changing truth of scripture. Denver Seminary has done that every year for the last 40 years and they do it well. My observation has been that they're true to that mission, they're true to the gospel, and they're certainly true to the evangelical faith that we profess. Sharon and I have invested here for 40 years. We don't regret a dollar. Should people give it a shot? Take a look. Think you'll like what you see.